Today we're working on the sail to a sunfish sailboat. And it's common that down here on the lower boom, where the ring comes through here, a lot of times this lower boom will crowd and it'll snap off. You can see where this thing is snapped off right here. And a lot of times it's where the, the mast hoop is. It'll crowd up underneath the, the lip right there. So anyways, we got a creative way to fix this without spending a lot of money for the a new lower boom. The first thing we want to do is we'll take the the nut off on the end down here. Okay. Once that's off, this piece will lift up out of the way. And then we can slide the piece of the boom out of the plastic hoops that are in here. This piece right here will also slide off. We'll take that off right there too. As you see right here where it corroded awfully badly, where it was underneath the mast hoop. The first thing I like to do is go ahead and mark with a Sharpie so I got my alignment exactly the way that the break was. And interestingly, some people have used an aluminum collar, which has actually been done right here, where they put a piece over the top of the boom and then they put rivets in it. Here's another one that's been repaired. You can see how they used a, a little bit bigger aluminum collar and it went right over the top of the of the boom itself. And then again it got you know riveted, pop riveted right into the spot. And when you do that, you have to slide this piece, you know, a little bit, you know, either direction from where it was. Okay, before we finish this repair, I need about 60 seconds of your time to check to see if you need any eternal repair. You probably think to yourself, eternal repair, what's that? Well, let me pose a question to you. Are you a good person? And I'm sure many of you out there watching this video right now, you're probably really nice folks, okay? Let's put the same question against God's standard, the Ten Commandments, okay? One of the commandments says, thou shalt not lie. And I'm sure if you're honest with yourself at some point in your life, you've told at least one small lie before. We all have, I have too, okay? Another one of his commandments says, thou shalt not steal. And I'm sure if you're honest with yourself again, at some point in your life, even no matter how small it was, you've probably stolen some small item, okay? Those rules define what sin is, okay? And if you broke even one of those rules, such as lying and stealing, that means you've sinned. We all have, okay? There isn't anybody that hasn't. The Bible says, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. The punishment for sin is going to hell or eternal separation from God. But the good news is that Jesus Christ came he took a brutal beating on the cross. He was sacrificed on the cross, went to the grave. Three days later, he arose, and now he sits beside the Father in heaven. The whole point of why he had to take that punishment on the cross is he was taking the punishment for my sin and for your sin. But it can only be accounted to you if through faith you believe in who he was and what he did and you repent, okay? For the Bible says, if you confess with your mouth Jesus Christ is Lord and believe in your heart God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Many of you are probably thinking, hey, I'm a good person. I've done so many nice things in my life for people. Surely God wouldn't look on me unfavorably. But the Bible actually says that by grace, you've been saved through faith. And that not of yourselves, it's a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. The only way to be reconciled for eternity with Jesus Christ in heaven is through putting your faith and trust in what he did personally for you on the cross, taking your punishment. Okay, now let's get back to our repair. And I'll have some more information on it for you on that at the end of the video. Fix this on a budget. Piece of chain link fence galvanized top rail is almost the same size as the inner diameter of the sunfish boom. So anyways, it will slide you know, right inside the original boom itself. And using the inner diameter, now we can locate our original hardware for the mast close to the spot that was damaged to begin with where it broke. Whereas when you use the collar on the outside, you can only slide your mast boom up to the edge of your collar. Okay, once you stick this piece of chain link fence top rail into the thing, it has a little bit of play in it, back and forth. Not much, just a little bit. 
So what you do is you take some duct tape and by wrapping around the pipe, depending on if there's any squeeze on the dents in the pipe or if there's any corrosion on the inner side of the pipe, but anywhere from one, one to three wraps of duct tape will make the diameter of this pipe exactly snug to the diameter of the inner side of your sunfish boom. And then once you slide it in, you'll have a really tight fit that won't um, have any play on it. Okay, so what I've done is I've put duct tape, duct tape on one end, and where my joint is, I got two places with duct tape, so they'll go inside the front edge of the pipe, and also down here at the end of the pipe. And on my other end, I've also put duct tape down here, so it'll be down here on this end of the pipe. And that way, when this thing starts to go back and back and forth, it won't have any wobble on it, you know, from the diameter of the chain link fence pipe being just a touch smaller than the other pipe. Also what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of motor oil on the inside of my pipe on both sides. That'll help for that duct tape, you know, to slide in there, you know, if it's kind of a little bit tight. Okay, next, you can see how we lined up our mark there, that we know that the brake is exactly matched up with the break in the teeth and all of the pulleys and everything will be lined up. I'm going to take a self-tapping screw. It has like a little drill bit on the end. And we'll just drill right through both surfaces. And we'll kind of lock this whole thing together. Stainless steel would certainly be best. Likewise, you could just drill a hole with a drill bit right through both sides and put a nut on the back side too. Perfect, snugged right down to the surface. And now she's nice and stiff. Okay, lastly, I'm gonna take a little bit of duct tape and I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this spot we repaired really tightly. And that way it's gonna keep you know, water from getting down inside that crack and that kind of helped to seal the, the heads of the screws that we put in and I think this boat's ready to sail. Hey I hope this video has helped you on the repair that you're working on right now. As far as the eternal portion I was talking about if you're not sure who God is and if he really exists I encourage you to pray like this say God if you are real if you are out there I pray that you would reveal yourself to me in a tangible way and when you make that kind of prayer, he's going to answer you and he's going to show you exactly who he is. And at that point, you will know he's real. At the point in time you know he's real and you're ready to accept what Christ has done for you and know that you have eternal salvation with him in heaven, the gospel is so simple. You just pray like this. You say, Lord, I acknowledge that I've sinned and I've fallen short of your glory. I know that you have paid a price for my personal sin on the cross. I know you were the son of God and that you were resurrected taken my place on that cross and I thank you for saving me in Jesus name that's how simple it is but here's the catch just saying those words doesn't do a thing for you unless the heart believes the words you're saying for the gospel says if you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord which I just did and you believe God raised him from the dead the believing part is where salvation is salvation only comes through faith and believing so anyways, I appreciate you watching. If you get a chance, visit our website, eternalrepair.com. That's eternalrepair.com, where we have a lot of other interesting repair ideas and also some more information on your walk with Jesus Christ. Thanks for watching. God bless, and have a good day.